people often ask me about subframe connector kits. Now there's a lot of misunderstanding about these uh, and a validity in what they do and what they don't do. Um, when you put a big section of RHS on a floor panel, it's not really tying into the main structure of the vehicle. And uh, we did a lot of preliminary testing in the early days on a lot of the US uh, supplied subframe connector kits, specifically doing beaming, beaming and torsioning tests. Now that's testing the car bending this way and twisting this way. And what we found with the vast majority of them, they were only good as ballast in the boot after you cut them up. They did absolutely nothing. Um, and it comes from a misunderstanding of how to stiffen a monocoque chassis. Normally, uh, all of the original drivetrain configuration generates both pushing force and twisting force into this area here. That's your acceleration, trying to wind up like that, and your forward motion, which is pushing this way. When you put a three link in, your pushing motion is here, but your torque reaction is up the torque arm. So it bypasses all of the forces that would normally be transferred in torque from here up to here. Again, it's a decrease in chassis stress. It's primarily got weight and all of its suspension load in the bulkhead. That's the main structure there. And then on the rear, it's main weight in the structure of the rear rails and where the suspension and driving forces come from. And the bit in between is the main part that you have a series of twisting and beaming aspects. The things that cause this are high powered engines and inadequate uh, gauge of steel, um, badly done uh, repairs from accidents or rust. Uh, there's all sorts of reasons why a, a car is a really floppy car. Um, when you tie our RRS components in, you change a whole stack of dynamics of load bearing. For instance, uh, and it's just simple physics, mass times distance equals force, right? So from the spring eye here back to the shackle, is quite a distance. That's where the rear of the weight of the vehicle is carried. When you shorten that distance, the force over that area is decreased because it's mass times distance. It's a reduction. So we put a uh, support stiffening frame to support our coilovers in across the two chassis rails. So that distance from there to there is less than half of the rear, plus that frame adds stiffness into the vehicle as well. Added to that, there's a, either a Watts linkage or a Mumford linkage frame put in there. That ties the two frame rails together. Those two things make those frame rails act as one. So that cuts out torsioning and beaming to a certain extent. All right, what we're doing here is reinforcing the chassis in the neatest, simplest possible manner. When you increase the folds, the gauge of the metal, and strategically put in uh, body stiffening, you've got to think very carefully about how it affects a monocoque chassis. There's a lot of gimmicks out there. This works. Keeps a nice, clean, tidy look. Adds a huge amount of stiffness because it ties the rear bulkhead to the front bulkhead and across the middle sections where the three-link cross member goes. So. Let's finish it off.